I got a new light, so hopefully now when I vlog, especially in my room, you can see me. Hi! So I made that butternut squash bread for dinner last night, and it is now the next day, and there's only half a piece left. It is really good. I've made it multiple times before, and I love it because you can replace, switch out the butternut for like sweet potatoes or pumpkin, and it still turns out really delicious. So just a warning, if you decide to make it, you might want to make two loaves. <laughs> and I will leave the link to that recipe in the description. And now, it is time for a demonstration of my new light. And it's really cool because it has this, this mirror, but it's magnetic. So, all you do is just pop it out, and then you don't have a mirror anymore. It's a little scary there. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have to plug it in for this to work. <laughs> Don't really need it right now, but let's see what it does. So this one has a double USB uh, connection, so you can put it like in, you can use a power bank if it has two. Oh my gosh, my brain is not working. Yeah, two slots for to put this in, or you can use a laptop, which is what I'm going to do right now. And I don't know why, when you plug it in, it does that. Hoping that's not a glitch. So there's two knobs on the back and they control different colors and so this is dimmable. There we are. <laughs> I like this light. This light's the best for me. <laughs> and then we've got a yellow light as well. So depending on your lighting situations and your skin tone, you can change the color balance. So, that's awesome. But I mostly use the cool tone. Let's see, put it around the camera. So this is me without any extra light. I am facing a window, so. And now, if we turn it on, there's a low setting. It doesn't really do much there, but... And this is how bloody bright it gets. Here's the other one. It's probably not a good balance. I can't tell. Let's turn that back down. But I like it because you can get the little ring light. In your eyes, it's really pretty. I am breaking out so bad this period, it's not funny. It purse up the face just a bit. Get a little bit of oh, whoops. A little bit of color there. Ta-da! I'm hoping, especially for the winter time, that this will work in the kitchen for food because our lighting really sucks. But it has a nice sturdy base, and it's actually a gooseneck, so you can bend it. Ooh, I'm an angel, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> yes, I am a dork. Anyway, so that is my new light. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
So that was a fruit salad that I made yesterday. That's why the colors might not look so great. But I have fallen in love with using almond yogurt on like everything. So I chopped up some cutie oranges, ambrosia apples, and bananas. And then I just coated it with one little container of almond yogurt with cinnamon. And mm, it was really good. And so today, for the actual Mother's Day, I spruced it up a little bit. And I added some chocolate chips and I put peanut butter on mine. So this is the bowl. So instead of using like, I know people have used like mayonnaise or like we used to do at the dry pudding mix as long as you have enough liquid in the fruit like you could use the dry pudding mix and it like vanilla flavor usually and it made a really really nice fruit salad but since I'm fully vegan now can't have those so just on a whim I tried the yogurt and it turned out amazing I just used plain plain almond yogurt but you could always use another flavor I just don't like to use those because of all the sugar but guys should definitely try this. 